For this new video series, I will be working in uh, that Moleskine journal. It's a really, really old one and, you know, because this series is all about using what you already have, I decided that it was time to finally finish this one. And the good thing is I always put the date and so I know that I started this one six years ago. Six years ago. So... I guess it's time to go back to it and play and see how it goes because you know that feeling of finishing a journal and then just looking through it is just amazing so this is what I will do okay As a first step for this spread, I'm adding gesso. Uh, as you can see, there was an XE on the page, uh, a very old one, but even if she's not bad, I just don't want to see her. So I'm covering everything with gesso. As you can see, though, I'm not really paying attention to if it's really smooth and I'm not even covering everything. It's not thick enough and you can still see through, so I decided to just add a second layer of it. Now that the gesso is completely dry, I decided to just pick a few colors of acrylic paint and cover the spread. I'm using my catalyst uh, tool to spread it because it's easy and I just like that tool so much. And as for the gesso you can see I'm not covering the entire page. The paint is not fully dry so I take advantage of that to add that little piece of uh, paper that was just laying in front of me and it was cut with my silhouette uh, machine. This is my big fat bin of stickers. You'll see that I have tons of them. And they were for most part of my Studio Calico scrapbooking subscription that I was in for maybe two years. So for that amount of time, every month I was receiving uh, alphabets which I love, but it's not so easy to add when you're not a scrapbooker. So I'm just browsing, looking, uh, trying to think of what I want my message to be on my page and to see which I could use. To start and uh, just do something, I picked that uh, set of ribbons from Bobany, and as you can see it's an Halloween theme, but uh, this is not what I will do. So I'm just cutting that tree because it's kind of uh, basic and not too Halloween-y. I've never tried ribbon on acrylic paint, so I have no clue if it will actually work. This is why you see me uh, back and forth peeling carefully the plastic to see if uh, there is some parts missing and I had to press really really hard to get the ribbon on the page. It's not perfect, but I'm not looking for perfection, so I'm good with that. I don't know what to do, I don't know, so I'm looking at that big sheet of colorful stickers with borders and alphabets and words. It's way too girly for me, so I don't know yet if I'll use it. So, in doubt, what I do? I just pick my graphite pencil and decided to sketch uh, a Nixie. Nixie, if you don't, if you're not familiar with my work, it's the name of my girl character that uh, that I do. I know she's out of proportion uh, 
when you look at her and the tree but it was on purpose because I wanted the tree to be like a sprouting, sprouting uh, tree and not li yet a huge big old tree and you'll see uh, why later so as you can see it's not perfect but it's okay because I'll cover with paint and for now just to add more definition I using my uh, neo pastel oil pastel uh, to add like I don't know if it's a art or whatever it's not important just so I have a better idea of where she is and I'll I'll erase those lines and it's okay I'm now trying to define her a little bit more so I'm adding uh, acrylic paint fluid paint with my catalyst tool it's pretty ugly right now but it will change you'll see it's okay using my stabilo pencil it's a water soluble one to just define her and giving her some personality now coming to life. Uh, I wanted to keep her face quite simple. This is why you saw me play with my stabilo and just uh, paint and keeping it really simple. What I love to do is uh, scratch into wet paint. This is what you just saw me doing for a collar thingy. Just to add a little detail and so it's not too simple. So I'm just adding here and there things to the face and details so it makes a bit more sense visually. I didn't really know what to do with that part so I'm just trying seeing and it's okay. Errors and mistakes are not really true in our journaling. No pressure. So adding a bit more of that Naples yellow uh, paint on the front of the character just to to make it more um, cohesive I guess. So 
So uh, if you remember that big uh, sheet of stickers at the beginning, uh, I decided to go with the Make-A-Wish one. And I'm now adding a bit of glass beads gel over the, the paper. It will uh, help as a glue and it will add a little bit of uh, subtle texture as well. Uh, right now I do have a story in mind, finally! And so I decided to have a holding a bag of seeds and she's planting seeds and the seeds represent her wishes for the new year actually because you know it's early January just painting to make it pop a little and it was the I, I had a bit m more water on my pen brush and so it was too watery so just easy and adding a uh, a sticker for the first letters and just writing the rest of the words. It's a s short one, so it's okay. I decided that it was too simple, so with a leftover paint that I had from a previous project, I decided just to add some uh, easy clouds with uh, some blue and white, uh, both on my pen brush at the same time and just dabbing it's just the idea of a cloud, not, you know, I didn't want it to be perfect or whatever. And as my final uh, step, I decided to add some subtle shimmer to the entire spread. So I used the Lidis Stem Gang Steel Shimmer, which is a grey one. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any question, please ask in the comments either on YouTube or on the blog. See you soon. Bye.